Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Let's take a look at the Ubuntu usage statistics for 2018. I'm here with Miss Quids. Hello. We'll start with the Ubuntu user statistics. This is the data collection Ubuntu do after the install of Ubuntu 18.04. And I thought they did it in 18.10 as well. But it states here it's only 18.04. So perhaps this is where the data was obtained from. Though we know the guy who has it keeps it under lock and key. He was very secretive about it, wasn't he? Yes. That's what we were told. <laughs> yeah. We have the opt-in rate because they still take the opt-out statistics. Mm. But where are the Ubuntu users? So United States, 22.3. I said the one that surprised me though was India, 6.3. I honestly thought that was higher considering it's... Um, the top third country according to your viewership. Yeah, that's it. So surprised that's not higher. What do we have? United Kingdom, 2.9. <laughs> Very low. One of the ones that was a bit of a surprise in South America, Brazil, 6.8. And it absolutely dominates in South America. Like, most of the other countries are less than 0.1%. And yet you've got Brazil, 6.8. <laughs> Weird. We were told there is a Brazilian YouTuber who does Linux, and he has over 300,000 subscribers, so completely dwarfs my... Yeah. yeah <laughs> coming up towards 50,000 subscribers. Mm. Yeah, I do appreciate everyone who watches the videos, including Miss Quids. She does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing too much more of a surprise than the rest of the map, really. And what language do people use? English, 59%. Portuguese. Surprised that's not higher with Brazil. Maybe if they were using it in their place of work, then they'd be using the English version because, you know, it's the kind of business language and so it requires less context switching than if they were using a regional language. Yeah, it could be true, yeah. I think our offices around the world still have to use English. Mm. Operating system architecture, 98%. And we've seen a, a lot of Linux distributions drop the 32-bit architecture now and you know, seeing statistics like that makes perfect sense. Why invest... A lot of effort into that two percent maybe that two percent might be people choosing the wrong distribution mm. and the setup people have one screen one gpu predominantly mm. i'll jump back to one gpu now i broke a mini hdmi cable in my home fiesta pc and the only normal size hdmi cable i had was in my desktop computer here so yeah i just took out the gpu on there i don't really need it anymore mm. and the last bit of the report i'll cover is the screen sizes I'm surprised 800 by 600 is that high. <laughs> Who has a screen of that size? Unless it is LCD displays on like Raspberry Pis. That's mm. about all I can think of there. Yeah. 1366 by 768. That's uh, 4 by 3 ratio. Square monitors maybe. Older square yeah. LCD monitors. 1080 predominantly. And, but 4K. 4K is still quite low. Mm. Which is more of a surprise because the next study we'll look at, it seems to be people are interested in 4K. So. You! <laughs> you! <laughs> of the not safe for work website that cannot be named. But yeah, feel free to look at this page. This is a safe for work part of the not safe for work website. 33.5 billion visits to this site. That's a lot of data. 4,403 petabytes of data transferred. And they mentioned that was more than the entire internet consumed in 2002 with Windows XP, wasn't it? Yeah, and um, dial-up. Dial-up, yeah. <laughs> Broadband was coming around that time, yeah. but yeah, predominantly dial-up. I dial-up. Dial <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did too. <laughs> the searches that define 2018 and 4K is placed in third place. So mm. Doesn't match the display ratio that we've just seen on Ubuntu stats. <laughs> Maybe it's all these Mac users with the high resolution displays. Maybe. Yeah. Looking at proportion of male to female visitors, well it's not really 50-50. What we got there, uh, the top country being 38 to 62 and bottom being 28 to 24 to 76. Which is probably not fair because I think Linux is still predominantly uh, male users. Mm. Seems to be from what we see. Isn't it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> from any events we go to. Yeah. Not so many women around. Looking at device usage, so desktop has absolutely plummeted there. 18% down and phone usage has increased. So 
more people being secretive on their mobiles, perhaps. And now on to the operating system usage. So what was it before, Miss Quids? <laughs> um, so in 2017, Windows had 80% of the share, Mac had 15%, Linux 3, other 2, and Chrome OS was not mentioned. So as we can see from this pie chart, Chrome OS now appears and it has 1.4%. What's interesting, though, is that other took up 2% last year and this year it's 4%. So there's a jump, but that's obviously not due to the appearance of Chrome OS because that is actually listed separately. Mm. So that's something that's quite interesting. Yeah, I don't know why other could be so high. Mm. I, I don't. I can't believe it's just like BSD, Unix, uh, or maybe mm. Android on a desktop. Um, mm. I, I don't know what that could all be and how it could actually be higher than Linux. Not that I'm just being bitter and jealous here but that is quite a sizable amount mm. for other anyway what can we take away from this one so linux has in some ways dropped but then again that split of chrome os which actually is linux you could kind of say we've gone from three percent to three point four percent now looking at the mobile usage we can see that windows has plummeted relative to last year and Android is still approximately, well, actually, according to the rounding up of this, 10% ahead of Apple iOS. Um, so there are still a lot of Linux users, even though they probably don't know it. Mm. On the web browser usage, we see an increase in Edge, but also a decrease in Internet Explorer. So that's probably people moving across to Windows 10 accounts for that, just using the other default browser. Shame that Firefox has continued to decrease, but Chrome has increased. Also, the uh, number of other browsers has decreased as well. So mm. reduction in choice. Chrome just keeps growing and growing. And it's going to grow even more with Edge moving to a Chromium base. Let's take a look at some of the other browser usage statistics. So net market share, which is pretty similar to what we've just seen on that other page with Linux being around 2%, but they have Chrome OS being a lot lower, only 0.3%. On the United States government, it appears they're not actively updating their web page anymore, so it may not be accurate. I don't know when this happened, it's been a while since I last went to this site. But we do have some operating system usages here, and Linux is not even mentioned. We do have Chrome OS at 1.4%, and presumably Linux falls into that other of 0.6%. And Android does show up as 19.1%, so again it is technically Linux, but it is quite surprising that just Linux Linux isn't featured at all. Well, I suppose they've actually combined mobile and desktop together there. Hmm. Although yeah, they, yeah. They yeah. do actually show it on the left-hand side as they've got desktop of 50%, mobile 43%. Hmm. So yeah. Perhaps Linux is just so low there, it doesn't count. Hmm. And what's this last one? RW3 schools. Perhaps a bit of an unfair one to take. We've got more developers here. So that kind of is reflected of Linux being at 5.6, which I don't think has changed much from the previous year. So I think all in all, Linux usage has stayed relatively stable or perhaps some drop off. Mm. But Chrome OS has at least increased. Yes. So some consolation, albeit they're going to Google. So that was a look at the Linux share for 2018 across a few different sources. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. See you later.